What's the vibe, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Running Off the Screen. I'm the man they call Mac. I was planning on doing a deep analysis of Coloco since the 2022 NBA draft ended. The Raptors' social media timeline has been filled with analysis on his journey leading up to him being the 33rd pick. So I figured I would change up the topic a bit and talk about how he'll fit our current squad, but mainly on the on the uh, defensive end. Now, Christian Coloco may be the final piece Masai and his staff uh, needed to unlock their plans of unlimited defensive potential, being that he was the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, an honor that was held by Evan Mobley, the runner-up of Rookie of the Year uh, last season. Now, I know much is said about the game slowly turning to positionless basketball, but I, for one... Do not believe in neglecting aspects of the game just for the sake of being positionless. You know, rim protection, uh, interior presence, shot blocking, whatever way you want to uh, look at it, it's it's a psychological weapon. You know, your opponent having that in the back of their mind, marinating, uh, allows your team's perimeter defense to be a bit more aggressive. And having that presence complementing the already potent lineup that we've seen uh, build their synergy all through last season it just seems like a, the cherry on top so if we are not a top three defensive team next season i don't know what to tell you but please for a moment i would like you guys to imagine a lineup where we have scotty barnes og ananobi precious achua pascal siakam and christian coloco please tell me what you think their defensive rating would be and mind you, this isn't even taking into account the impact that Fred Van Vliet and Gary Trent Jr. have had when healthy. And let's say we re-sign Boucher, that's an added defensive boost on top of that. Now to have a reference point, last season we had a similar lineup than the one you see on the screen, just swapping Boucher in instead of uh, Coloco, of course. And that lineup allowed 91.7 points per 100 possessions. And the opponent free throw rate was 6.1 per 100 possession, meaning they did a great job guarding the ball and doing that without fouling. Now, to add an extra perspective, our main starting lineup of Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, and Pascal Siakam allowed 107.8 per 100 possessions. And their free th the opponent free throw rate was 15.2 per 100 possessions. Now I want to lean the focus back towards our rookies for a sec. And put together another thought in the minds of Raptors fandom. Just to help you visualize what type of impact these rookies could have down the road. Now I went back through the combine measurements. And I tried to find players that had the exact same wingspan and maybe similar height and weight to, to Christian Coloco and try to get a career arc going for him. Now, the two names that came I came up with was Jared Allen, who measured in at 6'10 and a quarter with a 7'5 and a quarter wingspan, and Jaron Jackson Jr., who measured in at 6'11 and a quarter with a 7'5 and a quarter wingspan as well. The, the one thing that did stand out is these guys were 10 pounds weighed in 10 pounds heavier than what Christian Coloco is at the moment. But Jared Allen throughout his career, he's averaged 8.7 rebounds and Jaron Jackson Jr. is averaged 5.8 rebounds, which is pretty surprising. So I think this is a good uh, measuring stick for what Coloco can bring us in early on in his career. And, and, and an added piece here is Ron Harper Jr. Uh, he's to me he had a similar build than uh, Taylor Horton Tucker and if anyone knows about Taylor Horton Tucker he shows a lot of flashes of, of excellence as far as being a great scorer he has some uh, defensive potential but I think he's just in a in a culture and an environment I guess that just doesn't focus on developing their young guys they just want ready-made products let the other teams do the developing. So I think if Taylor Horton Tucker, that type of player, was in the Raptors, 
uh, system, he would probably flourish. So that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking when I think of Ron Harper Jr. I know Ron Harper is a little bit better of a shooter uh, this th at this point, but Taylor Horton Tucker is a better at creating off the dribble. Like with these comparisons, I'm not saying because. I'm not saying because they have the same wingspan, they're gonna be the exact same players, but I feel these are good benchmarks towards what path they can begin to build their career off of. So please let me know what comparisons you have for our rookies and what your expectations are for them this upcoming season. I can't wait for Summer League. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, please remember to like, subscribe, and raise the vibe. Peace.